Good evening folks, this is Darth Rabbit 7 coming to you tonight with another quick video review. Uh, first I want to say sorry for not uh, posting anything in a bit between sickness and basketball practices and all the crazy. Uh, not finding a whole lot. I did find something. Uh, find uh, this figure of the day and give me a second we'll get it up here in three, two, one, and we all know how this ends, but I found my coordination star scream uh, target South Asheville out in Arden there and uh, really tickled with this. This has some really eye striking uh, box art here and is the new de facto standard for leader class going forward with studio series into the new year. And the good news is, is I've seen on some other people's stuff tonight, uh, if you can find this, you can also possibly find the core class stuff. This came in from Dorkside. This is a whole other video, but I just wanted to share that with you real quick. So Dorkside got that stuff in. I got my Ravage coming tomorrow and uh, be doing uh, some other stuff. But tonight we're going to focus on Starscream there. So let's uh, get this guy going in three, two, one, and and in the process, you know, of, you know, looking for different things, I found other things. Uh, found some uh, the Batman figures, but this is going to be Starscream here. He's number twelve in the eighty-six Studio Series line. It's beautiful box art. Uh, pretty beautiful, uh, considering it's the Studio Series eighty-six, and they didn't change the package too much, except for. You can't see inside the box at all, and you just got to pray that all this is good. The first box I picked up of this had loose bits in it, but I went back to the next section and found this copy of it. And that's the reason why I bought it was just to get all this other extra awesome cool stuff. And the backdrops and this stuff I'm not going to even try to hang on to anymore. Just ain't got the room for it. So without further ado, let's get this guy open and see how cool this new uh, version of packaging is in three two one and this is just a quick preview to show you that down inside of that box they got the throne they got the star screen down in here they got the backdrop and the cape and the other stuff inside of this stuff right here just want to kind of give you a quick peek i'm gonna pull this out three two one and here we go as i was saying it's not really pretty there is the cape the throne sticking through the back side of the cardboard. You pull this cardboard inlet out. This is how you will find Starscream in the throne position in the packaging. Like I said, my initial package had stuff rattling around in it and I just didn't feel comfortable with it. This already seems to be a lighter purple than what we had with the original Earthrise release. A little concerned that that's not totally kosher there. We'll get it out of its plastic cardboard, you know, half prison here you get the throne set up and see how King Starscream looks with his gear and what have you and uh, wow just looks like there's more paint already just right here so we're gonna take a closer look in three two one so what all do you get with this nice set you do get of course the cape and it folds out to be wider closer there's a look at the back and all opened up and then I'll close back. So it's gonna stick on one peg hole there in the back of Starscream there. So that's how that all comes undone. It comes with two shoulder pylons and it has an extra accessory bit there. I do think it's like whenever they uh, go to hook up to the shoulders that you have this here in order to display his blasters off of his arms as he you know, does his thing or what have you. And so there's that, just be really careful with it. It's not super thin, but don't want somebody breaking it. This is painted over the blue green versus the original null rays that are like, I guess all the other null rays. So there's that. And you get a really nice crown. It's a crowning affair here. Look at that bad boy. That is something else, man. So we're gonna zoom back out. And you got the instructions that show how this does this, that, and the other when it comes to arming up the chair, the throne, whenever you want Starscream to sit there. I got somebody else I want to put in that throne. 
and all again the accessories that comes with the pack are listed right here and how it fits on to the back of the throne there we'll show that off here in a minute it's for storage and then it goes through and shows you how to do the cape and all that good stuff and it looks like they did a better premium paint job on the star screen even though it's the same earthrise mold with mine I'm having a little bit of a gap issue there right out of the box let me get it all modded down and before we do that let me just take a quick look at that backdrop there that that's going back in the box i will hang on to this box because it this is a once in a lifetime kind of release there and i wish that they had a retooled star screen for this i mean it worth that 50 bucks that you had to pick this up for but the detail on the throne is absolutely exquisite so i'm really look, looking forward to having this set up in the main case somewhere here and have it ready to rock and roll there so let me all that stuff up and to the throne for storage and three two one and so there's the shoulder pads and the null rays for the shoulder pads hooked together and stored away there's the null rays the crown and finally the cape also cleverly stored away so you have all that stuff nicely stowed away and starscream or King Starscream sitting nervously on his throne. I don't know that I recall. He never got to sit there. He was up inside of this little stand and the blast radius of Galvatron and his short reign as King Starscream. And speaking of King Starscream, let's go ahead and doll him up. In three, two, one, and and here's King Starscream before his demise with the cape uh, folded up and unfurled right here in three, two, one, and as your new leader, I, those of us that were sitting there in 1986 know how that scene plays out and we finally get the figures that look super duper great and breaker is photobombing it but it's okay along with uh reboost but uh we all know how that scene played out let's uh do some comparison shots and some closing final thoughts on this set and three two one and i just think this setup looks great together because that's pretty much what happened in the movie the purples actually match to galvatron so Galvatron's guys thrown. Let me get the star screen out here. Like I said, we'll do some comparisons and final thoughts. Thanks again for watching. In three, two, one, and and when it really boils right down to it, guys, with this mold and with this coordination set, it's a tale of two Earthrise star screens. And what I mean by that, well, the colors appear to be brighter on this portion than they do on this back portion here and as you can see I got them going around the table this is the original Earthrise release and you can denote it by the closed fist and the paint chip there where versus the new one where it is even almost a different red and it could be just me going back and forth between the camera and looking at my eyeballs uh, the hands are open on the new release with the coordination set so why don't they go back and fix it to where they actually have a wrist swivel. They can give it open end wrist, but no swivel whatsoever. So that's where I think that's been the weakest part of this Classics 2.0 upgrade to Earthrise as a Voyager. Is that they just didn't take the elements that was so awesome in the... Uh, they didn't take the elements that were so awesome with the Siege and apply it here. And it should. With this guy... You can clearly see there's a gap there and least paint there. And I think on the other side, when we flip it back around, you'll see that there's paint there and it sits closer together. So that's an aggravation for the extra 50 bucks that you get there. And then uh, I could swear this is better. It's got paint apps on both, but the think the, it's done better here on the coronation piece than it is on the original Earthrise release. Just little details like that just goes a long way. And I'm going to get these guys in the jet. And you can see right there there's a difference between Earthrise and that. That it doesn't have that paint job there. I guess it's more like the animation model. But, you know, going back in here, it's painted all the way around the end there. Just like I was saying and denoting. Plus, it sits flush on the original release. I really wish that they would have took 
and apply the seed stuff to this mold and keep the waist articulation and stuff and give it landing gear that could have been retractable and rollable uh that's the other thing i just don't like about this because it sits on painted pieces when i get into jet mode in three two one and before we get into that jet mode i just want to show you the coordination bits will work on the earthrise mold it's the same coin butt port system that it utilizes there and it only folds the cape out due to the way the cape folds out it only folds one way uh that hinge pretty much contradicts it going back the other way i tried doing that a second ago just to be a little bit different but it didn't and whenever you do have the kibble on it hinders the shoulder movement obviously and that's just the way that cookie crumbles but you can put the bits on and have him have earth rise be all back down in it but the throne is i think the real selling point here because you can put galvatron or megatron in that very very position there i think it looks great like that i'll take that cardboard drop and put it back in the box and i'll have my own little set up a little bit later getting them into jet mode three two one and little warning it fits really snugly on here and i'm having a little bit of trouble getting that off so i just want to warn you i took the gun off so i didn't break that and i'm gonna try to get this off of here without breaking it just want to warn you thanks again and here again is Starscream's in his jet modes. The earth rise is right here, as you can denote with the tail fin. And the lighter color blue is definitely predominant in the camera and with my naked eye. I mean, that's definitely a darker on the right, and that's definitely a lighter on the left. And the Decepticon symbols on the wings are smaller versus the bigger Decepticon symbols on the coronation piece. And... You can have you have some wear because all this does is sit on the table. It does not sit on landing gear, and that really frustrates me to no end because it's just a matter of time before the painted piece on the bottom of that one looks like the painted piece on the bottom of that one. That just looks horrible over time. It just wears off. Now Hasbro, come on now, you got a new line coming out with Legacy. And I think these seekers for the earth modes deserve something better than a classics 2.0 redo, especially when you release another one with the the coronation set and the, the gear that you put with that, the accessories are really, really great. But I just don't think it's worth the fifty dollars price point for those that are not true fans of everything Transformers the movie. And uh I, I just get really frustrated because after Siege, this should have been a no-brainer. These things should have had all the bells and whistles, plus the landing gear. I think even the Classics 2.0 had even like uh, nubs there at the chest area that you could fold out. And while it didn't roll, it was up off the ground and it didn't have the paint getting worn off of it. So I mean, there was even that thought put into the engineering. So scrap the master or the scrap the Classics 2.0 version of this with the Earth Rise and give the fans seekers that have landing gear and jet mode waist articulation back over in robot mode and wrists that do that and you even prove that you can put a hinge in there and give it a little finger articulation there so uh with all that said and done i'm just really hardcore about with the prices going up we're getting less and less in spots with one robot mode to the other now that galvatron over there he's a 50 dollar figure and he's got the wrist articulation in there. I don't really care much for the gappage, but that's 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 what I'm talking about. From one figure to the other, and he's got waist articulation and all the other good stuff. And the Seekers deserve that too. The Seeker Siege molds have all that, and it's really really awesome. I just hate that the Earth mode's got a, a step backwards. Oh, and then there's the obvious that this is the original release versus the. I don't know why they did that at all. I don't get that. It confused some people that transforms it and they think that they're supposed to transform that versus the actual transformation joint. So that's, I don't know, man. It's, it, it, I can only recommend this if you're a fan because this is not an improvement from this to this. This is just more colors. Uh, the, the hand fist are different because it does do that much of a motion and I just get really frustrated. I, I've seen a lot of good stuff come out of Keenum and, and the War for Cybertron trilogy lines, 
and those studio series figures right there are my votes for the you know best of you know 86 studio series and uh kingdom and in all actuality those all should be studio series but you see the point there i'm hoping that somebody from hasbro is watching that somebody will go back and give us the better seekers for legacy as we go through the time make them voyager class or even leader or something and, and, and then if you do that make the megatron an actual leader size and not voyager with yeah S stop going stop stop taking stuff away as, as as the prices rise and that's that's the big thing moving forward or people are just going to stick with the masterpiece and pay through the nose there all right, guys, y'all have an excellent, safe day out there. Sorry it's been a while since I've gotten around to reviewing. To all or one, thanks to those who have subscribed down in the, the details there and do all the little stuff and things to help my channel grow, keep, you know, spreading the word. This is a little bit long because it had a little bit more content, but uh, thanks again for watching my quick reviews. Have a good day to all or one. Have an excellent week. Stay healthy out there. Thanks again.